Hey, what if I told you that? With just one dollar. Yes, one dollar. You could stake a claim in the robotics revolution that's quietly gearing up to blast off. Picture this. Companies building robots that will pick your groceries, automate your warehouse, deliver your packages, even care for the elderly. And we're talking about stocks trading under $100 right now. Stocks that many ignore, but that could unleash monster upside. That's what today's video is about. So buckle in. In the next 10 to 12 minutes, I am going to walk you through some of the cheapest robotics and AI stocks that have the potential to 10x. Maybe more. We'll dig into market trends, the big numbers behind robotics, what makes these companies tick, and how you, as a smart investor, can approach this opportunity without getting caught in hype. I'll mix emotion, FOMO, and investor discipline. Because this isn't just about numbers, it's about your chance to get in early. Let's roll. Here is what we're re seeing. The robotics market is on the verge of a major breakout, according to multiple analysts. Robotics combined with artificial intelligence isn't just an incremental upgrade, it's a transformative wave. Factories are deploying collaborative robots. Warehouses are converting to automated fleets. And eventually service robots will be in our homes, hospitals, and stores. In short, robots will do more tasks, faster, cheaper. And when that happens, the early plays could explode. Now here is where it gets interesting. While some of the giants, like NVDA, NVIDIA, or ISRG Intuitive Surgical grab the headlines, there are smaller players trading under $100 or even under $20 that carry enormous upside precisely because they re-under. According to one recent review, there are robotic stocks under $10 that could reward early investors with outsized gains. These aren't no-name penny stocks well, some are speculative, but they're very early. And that means risk but also opportunity. Let me share three concrete examples to anchor this discussion. First, SYM Ticker. This company is in the warehouse robotics business, and one report says its share price is around $65, and it continues to scale. The Motley Fool. Why does this matter? Because warehouses are a foundational part of the logistics chain, and automation there means massive cost savings and margin improvements. If SYM captures a bigger share of that market, it could grow massively from here. Second, SOUN ticker. Sonavoice AI Robotics Company, trading around $18 in one list of robotic stocks. Under $1.20. The idea, as robots become more autonomous, they need natural language, vision. Sensors companies like this could ride the wave. Third, BBAI, ticker. BBAI, listed at around $3.22 in one sample list. This company is positioned in AI decision-making systems, autonomous platforms, defense supply chain, automation, think. If the industrial world automates at scale, this could be one of the beneficiaries. Now pause. I'm not recommending you buy these exact tickers. There is risk, lots of risk. What I'm doing is showing you how to think about this robotics AI theme and how to spot affordable plays with monster potential. Because no matter how strong the trend, you still need discipline. So let's zoom out. Why now? Why robotics? Because the ingredients are converging. We have one advanced AI. So robots are getting smarter to cheaper sensors and components. So robots are getting cheaper to build three massive demand for automation, especially post-pandemic supply chain chaos for labor shortages in many economies driving interest in robots. When those four meet, you get a structural shift. Some analysts argue we're entering the industry 4.0 phase in full swing. That kind of macro tailwind means you reinvesting not just in a company, but in a ma that gives your risk reward profile more room to work. Here is the emotional connection. Imagine being an early passenger on a rocket ship, while others are still looking at the ground. You look up, you see the destination. You know the fuel is loaded and you get on board before the countdown hits blast off. That's what investing early in robotics feels like. There is fear. What if the trend stalls? There is FOMO everyone will want in later, but there is also the sweet spot between being too late and taking reckless bets. Now, here's where we shift to how to evaluate these stocks, because cheap doesn't mean good. There are three big criteria you want to use. One, 
Addressable market size. How big is the market this robot company is going after? If it's a niche of a few million dollars, that's less interesting. But if it's logistics, manufacturing, pervasive service, robots that's multi-billion, maybe tens of billions. For example, the warehouse robotics company cited a backlog of over five billion dollars in one article. That's the kind of scale you want. Two, technology or contract runway. Does the company have credentials, a proven prototype, big clients, or a pipeline of orders? For instance, the warehouse robot player has existing deployments and deal flow that reduces the tech risk a bit. If a company is purely speculative with no real business, that's higher risk. 3. Valuation versus Growth Gap Because the stock is cheap relative to its growth potential. For example, a company trading under dollar twenty, while the broader robotics market is still in its early innings, may have big upside. But do you want to ask, what's the burn rate? Are they profitable? Can they scale without needing constant financing? That's important. Here's the transition. Now here's where it gets interesting. We look at how this applies in practice to two different investment archetypes in the robotic space. The early speculative play and the more established growth play. You might allocate some capital to each. For the early speculative play, think of those stocks under dollar ten or bain to dollars that are working on niche robotics AI solutions, maybe drone robotics, maybe service robots in niche markets. They have big upside because they're small now, but also the biggest risk. One list said there are robotic stocks under ten dollars that could deliver outsized gains if you believe the trend. Small bets here could pay off hugely, but you must be ready for volatility. The stock may go sideways, or worse. For the more established growth play, look for robotics companies that are already generating revenue, already have large addressable markets, and are still trading under $100. You might not get a 10x overnight, but you might get a 3 to 5x over a few years with less risk. For example, the warehouse robotics company with a $65 price tag is still in this category. The speech around industrial robotics suggests we're just beginning this wave. And here's the kicker. You don't need to go all in on one. You can build a portfolio of robotics exposure, some speculative, some more stable. So you're diversified across the theme, yet still capture big upside. Now, let's get emotional for a moment. Think about the first time smartphones hit. The first iPhone launched, people underestimated how much the smartphone would reshape everything. Communication, media, payments. Those who got in early on the smartphone ecosystem saw transformational returns. Robotics and AI is arguably on that same level for a lifetime. If you can identify the companies that become the nodes in that network, robotic arms, AI platforms for robots, vision and sensor companies, Logistics robotics providers, you might be in the early innings of something huge. That, that's why the phrase from $1 to $100 resonates. One do yam now, if the right platform captures the wave, might become $100 down the road. What a story. Now here's where it gets interesting again. Let's talk about risk, because I don't want you to buy in blindly. Here are four key risks to keep in mind. Technology risk. Robotics is hard. Many companies fail to scale or get stuck in prototype mode. Adopt the risk just because a robot exists. Docenti mean businesses or consumers buy it at scale. Valuation risk. Cheap stock can stay cheap for years if the market docenti believe the story. Execution risk. Burning through cash, diluting shareholders, or failing to deliver contracts. So your job as a smart investor. Pick the companies that mitigate these risks the most. Look for credible leadership, proof of concept, order backlog, partnerships, and reasonable cash burn. Also treat any investment like part of a theme portfolio, not a bet the house. Here's a step-by-step -step plan you can follow. Define how much capital you're willing to allocate to robotics AI. Maybe 5-10% to 10 of your portfolio. Don't go all in on this. Within that allocation split, 50% to growth robotics companies, under $1.100, 50% to speculative, under $20, or under $10 opportunities. Do your homework. Read the filings. Check the addressable market. Check insider management holdings. 
Check how much cash they have. Use dollar cost averaging DCA. Since these stocks will likely be volatile, you don't want to buy all at once at a peak. Set realistic expectations. Over the next two to five years, you might aim for a three to 10 X return depending on which stock you pick. This isn't a guarantee, but potential based on the trend. All right, now here's where it gets really interesting. Let us imagine a scenario. You pick a speculative robotic stock today for $5. Over the next four years, the company signs big contracts. The overall robotics industry doubles or triples. Your investment multiplies, and you're resitting on $50 or $100. That esta from $1 to $100 dream. It doesn't happen overnight, typically. It takes years, but the seed gets planted now. And imagine you also own a more mature robotic stock trading at $50, $70 with strong fundamentals. Maybe that goes to $200 or $300 in a few years. You're covered from both sides, high risk, high reward, and more stable growth. And you're riding the wave of robotics plus AI. Now let us bring in some data to anchor the emotion. One recent article said that robotic stocks are still in the early innings of a secular up with global labor shortages supply chain shifts, and automation gains. Factories and warehouses are expected to invest heavily. Another report pointed out that as robots become cheaper thanks to AI sensors, integration more industries will adopt them. Investing so the macro backdrop is supportive. That means you re not. Just investing in one company you reinvesting in a global structural shift. That's powerful. Before we wrap. I want you to feel the emotion of missing the boat if you wait too long. Because by the time everyone is talking about robotics, stocks, and they're all over the news, the big gains may already be behind you. You want to position yourself while the market is still quiet. Not for overnight greed, but for patient, disciplined growth. Imagine looking back five years from now and saying, I got in when few were paying attention. That feeling is priceless. And check this. Some of these robotics plays are still very reasonably priced relative to their growth potential. For example, with BBAI at tilde, dollar three in one list. If the company scales even modestly, the upside could be multiples. But again, don't over concentrate. Maybe a speculative position is 2% of your portfolio. A growth robotics position, maybe 5%. Now, as we draw to a close, let me recap. We started by imagining $1 to $100 as a metaphor for cheap robotics stocks with monster potential. We looked at why robotics plus AI is a turbo trend. We highlighted specific stock examples under $100 with upside. We reviewed how to evaluate these companies and how to structure your investment. We got emotional about opportunity, FOMO, discipline, risk, and reward. And we ended with a plan. Allocate, split, DCA, monitor. Here's your call to action. If you found this style of investing intrigue you, if you believe robotics plus AI is going to shape the next decade, hit the like button right now. Drop a comment below. What's one robotic stock you're watching and why? It'll help build our community of smart investors. If you haven't already, subscribe and ring that notification bell so you don't miss future deep dives into AI, robotics, and high potential stocks. And share this video with a friend who is curious about robotics, but the T had pulled the trigger you might set them on a path. Finally, always remember, this is educational content, not personal financial advice. Always do your own research, consider your risk profile, and don't invest more than you're comfortable losing. But if you believe in the robotics future and you select wisely, you might look back later and thank yourself for getting in early. Thank you for watching. Let's ride this robotics wave together. I'll see you in the next video.